What's up guys? Today I want to do a video for you on the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Now, I've always kind of felt like this is a little bit of a gimmicky product. I find a lot of people on like YouTube and Instagram use this in addition to a primer and I'm just thinking in my head like why don't you just go get a rose water or make your own kind of like mist for pre-makeup application, like does this really make a difference? So what I'm gonna do today is apply one half of my face, which is this half, which I already applied. My crazy eyebrows are heading south. But anyway, this side of my face, I applied my Makeup Forever primer and I sat with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And this side of my face, I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I set it with this as well because it does say on the back you can use it as a setting spray. So if you're interested in seeing a little more about what I have to say about this and kind of going through a wear test with me, go ahead and keep so watching. I'm gonna my hair back here and I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and I'm going to just put that on this side of the face. Not going to take a lot of this. So like I said, this side of the face I'm just doing like I would normally apply my makeup and I pretty much keep my primers like right here where I have bigger pores and then I'll just take a little down. This is where my makeup tends to like break up. And I know a lot of people apply the primer water on top or before applying their additional primer, but if I'm buying something like this, which is like 30 some dollars normally, 36 or something like that, I wouldn't want to buy another primer. So we're going to test to see if it wears the same. So, okay, we're good there. Now I'm going to take my primer water. I don't know if you need to shake it up, but I'm gonna shake it up because I feel like it's mandatory. And I'm going to just take a book here, or a, a planner. It's got a little cat hair on it. And I'm gonna cover this side of my face. And I'm gonna just spray the primer water. See what the directions say. It just says mist evenly, so. This makes the sound of Windex when you spray and I don't know if that's making me think it smells like Windex but I feel like it kind of smells like Windex with like a little bit of old lady scent to it interesting interesting okay so I'm gonna do this side first while the primer water is still wet I guess it also says you can use it to set, which is interesting. So maybe I'll set my face with that stuff as well. So yeah, I'll start with the side that I just applied the primer and water and I'm just gonna go in with my, my L'Oreal Pro Glow because I'm pale right now and it's the only pale foundation I have. So I'll fast forward through this part because you guys have seen me apply my makeup a million times and I'm sure you don't wanna see that. Got it all over my fingers too, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> I will say I do like how this is applying right now. I feel like it's going on very evenly, which is nice. And sometimes I get little dry patches in the winter and I don't, like right in here, and I don't see any of that, which I really like actually. But I wonder if I was to spray like rose water on the other side of my face if it would be the same. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. That went really fast. I feel like the makeup looks really smooth. It looks like skin. I did use this new L'Oreal sponge. I don't know if that has something to do with it as well, but I think that looks really nice. I think the finish looks really pretty. So let's go ahead and do the other side and see if there are any differences. I'm gonna use a beauty blender on that side. Okay, so let me scoot in a little bit after I finished here. I think initial thoughts, the finish looks exactly the same. 
there's not really any dry patches in here, which I don't think has to do with any products or anything like that. That's just my skin in the winter. So I really like that. Um, I think I, I also get a little bit dry here. I don't see any of that, so that's a big thumbs up. Neither side looks more hydrated than the other. I think they look very, very similar. Um, I do feel like I need a little more coverage right here, and that just might be due to using this new L'Oreal sponge. The Beauty Blender might just apply products a little bit better. Beauty Blender has a special place in my heart, but I do like how big this guy is, but that'll be for a separate video. So I'm just going to apply a little more here, even out the coverage. I could also just be a little more red on this side. But yeah, I think they look very, very similar. I don't think... Either one looks better than the other right now. It looks like I just applied one product all over my face and this is the result. Let me just show you quickly what everything looks like. This is the side that had the Makeup Forever primer. And this is the side that had the Smashbox primer water. So let me go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll meet you back here in a couple seconds due to the power of editing. Okay guys, so here is the finished makeup look. This side has my normal primer, like how I would normally do my foundation. And this side, I used the new Smashbox primer water. I will say everything applied just the same. I saw no difference in makeup application. I think everything looks the same. Let me get up really close so you guys can see what everything looks like. I think it looks like I used the same exact product. Granted, it's just a primer. So let's see how this thing wears. So what I'm gonna do is set this side with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and I'm gonna set this side with the Urban Decay All Nighter that I always use. All right, one side done. I don't know if I could do this with my left hand. This is gonna be weird. Spraying with my left hand. Okay, say so that was about even. All right, so it is, let's do a quick check-in time. It is 9.41 right now. And I'm gonna go run some errands, hang out with some friends, eat, do a bunch, a whole bunch of stuff. And it's a really crappy day out in Chicago, so I'll definitely be outside a lot today. And it's rainy and gross. So let's see how this thing holds up. And I will see you back here in like eight hours or so. Hey guys, I'm doing a quick check-in. I have been all over the place. I've been to Home Goods. I did coffee with my friend. I went to the drugstore, I went to Trader Joe's to get groceries, and I even got my eyebrows done. So pay no attention to my eye area because I always cry when I get my eyebrows threaded. I hate that pain. So my eye makeup has come off a little bit, but everything for the most part is looking the same. My areas that typically um, come off first are around my nose because I'm always blowing my nose because of allergies. So everything pretty much looks the same. Maybe coming off slightly more on the Makeup Forever side and staying on slightly more on the spot on the side that I applied the Smashbox, but that's if I'm really dissecting it. Overall, everything is holding up exactly the same. I think everything looks really nice so far. So it is, I'm going to have to flip this around this way because I am filming with my iPhone. It is 146 and we did, we ended about 946. So 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11, 12, 12 to 1. It's been about four hours. So I'll check in around like five six o'clock with like that eight hour mark which is typically how long i would wear my makeup to see how everything's holding up i hope this lighting is okay i'm clearly in my car it's pretty overcast it's also gotten pretty warm here it's 53 degrees right now which is warm for chicago so i was sweating a little bit when i carried all my groceries out from um, trader joe's so everything's holding up pretty well i'm actually pretty impressed so far with the smash box i don't think that it's just a gimmick so yeah we we will check in I just had my sunroof thing down this might be a little bit better but I'll check in in another four hours when I'm back up in my apartment and we will see how everything's holding up here's a quick close-up of this is the side the makeup forever side my blush is coming off a little bit but I used a drugstore blush so that's pretty typical and this is the smashbox side so yeah everything is holding up pretty well I'm pretty impressed hi buddy 
Tyre, are you ready for bed? You ready for bed? You want to chill out? I love this cat so much. Such a sweetie. Such a sweet boy. I love you. I love you. Hey guys, it is now 7.07 .07 in the evening. 7.07, .07. so I put this on around 10. Uh, it's been about seven, eight, nine hours that I've had the foundation on. And overall, don't mind my eyes, I ended up getting my eyebrows threaded and I cried because I always cry because I'm a big giant baby and I can't take that pain. So my eye makeup pretty much went away when, that, when I started to cry. Still a little bit of color on there, which is good, but the mascara. So let's not pay attention to that. You can see there's definitely some redness showing through around my lip area and a little on my cheeks, but overall, I'm actually super impressed with how this performed. I think I should do another one of these at some point, putting nothing on my face or putting just the rose water on one side and then the primer water on the other side and see if there's a difference with that. But overall, I think these look pretty much identical. I would say there's a little bit more redness showing through on the uh, Smashbox side. There's some redness here on my cheeks and right here. That could have something to do with me like doing this more on this side than this side. Guys, I've done so much today. I met my friend for coffee. I went to Home Goods. I went to get my eyebrows done. I went to the drugstore. I went to Trader Joe's, I, I assembled an office chair, I made dinner, I've been sweating, it's hot in my apartment because it's like pretty pretty warm out outside and my apartment like holds heat like crazy. So this is a really good day to do it because I have really, really been through it today. But yeah, as you can see, they're pretty much the same. The nose area where my foundation always comes off because my nose is always running and I'm always blowing my nose. There, maybe it's coming off a little more on this side than this side, but it's nothing too crazy. It's not like a tra dramatic difference. There's definitely some redness coming through here, but I just ate tacos, hashtag Taco Tuesday. And um, that might have to do with that with wiping my face. I'm definitely a face wiper when it comes to eating. So let me just like slow down and you could like take a big look at this side. This is the Smashbox side. Oh, there's some eyeshadow or mascara that just came down. And this is my normal foundation routine side. Pardon the eye area. So I'll take a closer look too when I edit this to see if I can see a huge difference. But overall, seems pretty similar. So do I think you need to go in with the photo finish primer and another primer on top of that? No, I think that's really excessive. I don't, do I think you need this in addition to having another primer? No, as you can see, they pretty much held up just the same. So overall, I would give this product like a 10 out of 10 for what it is. It claims to be a primer and it set my makeup too and kept it on. So I think it's a great innovative product. I don't think there's many primer waters out there. I know Makeup Revolution has one, but I'm sure they made that after this. I mean, I can't be 100% sure, but I know Makeup Revolution tends to make like a more affordable dupe for a higher end product. So I'm happy with this. I will definitely continue, continue to use it, which is good because I picked up two, like I said, even though I thought it was a gimmicky product, I just have issues when it comes to that stuff. So yeah, let me know if you guys have tried this product and what your thoughts on it are. Do you like it more? I think when I applied my foundation, everything applied the exact same way that it would with a normal primer. The only reason I could see somebody foregoing this and going with a regular primer would be if you're really focused on like a pore filling primer. This I don't think really fills pores. I, I think it's more of like a hydrating primer if, if I had to like categorize it. so. Let me know if you guys have tried this product and what you think below. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know, leave them below, and I'll be sure to answer them. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing more videos from me, I post about two, sometimes three a week. Please subscribe, it means the world to me, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Good timing. <laughs> Weirdo. Okay. Okay guys, so this is what the final makeup looks look like. Looks 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 like.